a power cord, it could be a computer power cord, and cut uh, the plug away. We don't need this part. We need the three prong. Okay, so I'll just snip it off here. And then expose the three wires. So these are the raw material that you need, right? You need a, a wire clipper, wire mm -hmm. cutter. And then you'll see here, there are three wires here. So what we want is this green the wire. green one, okay. These two are not in use. So basically what I'll do is I'll just uh, Ban cut it. it away. I'll cut it away? No. Yeah, we're going to tape it so it's safe, right? Yeah. Bring, bend it down like that. And then expose the wire in the ground wire. Usually the green and the yellow color are the ground. Green or yellow. Yeah. So we're going to expose this. And then we use a black electrical tape to cover all this. Is that yours? Yeah. Okay. Don't worry about it. So over here, we just want to extend another uh, electrical cord or wire that is about eight feet long. Okay, eight feet mm -hmm. long. Expose the wire on the both end. It has to be electrical wire, can it be... Uh, uh, anything with wire. Even, copper. Even... Uh, the Speaker wire. Anything. Even the, the telephone cord also has wire. Okay. So anything with uh, metal wire, you will be able to conduct. So I just connect this two end and then tape it over. Mm. So now you can plug this in and then this will go all the way to the other end to the other end which you want to put a copper band so what I do is I tape it over like that I don't even need to drill hole bend ah. the end of the wire a little bit so that <coughs> you will catch inside the black tape show you how I do it <coughs> Okay, expose this so that you won't slip. Oh, like that. Okay. Yeah. So you won't slip when you pull it out, right? So what you want to do is tip it down. You mm. just need to have a contact. I'll make sure I contact not on the on the white barcode. Mm. Okay. So just tape a few round, cover the whole wire. Okay, I want to expose a little bit of metal on top in case you want to uh, touch your skin contact too. Mm. Okay. So this one here, the end, you can just put into your last finger. Mm. Okay. I, I have another one that is bigger. Now this one, you can put it into your index finger, middle finger, or, or the thumb. and just for contact purpose, right? Mm. So this is now complete, see? The reason why I want to use a three prong is because when you plug this in, these two are not in use, okay? Because yeah. they are being taped up, only this is ground. And mm. then uh, this is in and this is in your finger, so your circuit is complete. Now this you can plug into your extension cord also, which you don't have to on because the ground is... It's always on. It's always on, yeah. And then one more thing I want to show you, there is a, there's a, a tester, connector tester, okay? So when you, bring your, thing here, when your plug is grounded, okay. this, this will end up as two red light here, two orange light. Means the ground is grounded. It's red, it's, the red is tester. on. So if you have one in the middle, it means the ground is open. Wow. Right? So you need two lights, then it says correct connection. So two oh. orange light. This one is about three ninety nine. Okay. And it's good to test. Make sure it's grounded. Okay. Your, your electrical the, the, outlet, the outlet is, grounded. is grounded. Otherwise, is uh, wasting your time. Okay. Okay. So I gotta so go. So that's by it. 